Hi, this is Roger. Welcome to another 2023 Project Orchids video. This is the last in the set of the third videos. Um, I missed last Friday, which, when, which is when this video should have been, but effectively we've got eight videos to do over a two month period for a set and there's virtually always nine Fridays in two months. So I've always got a spare week, if you see what I mean. So we've managed to get it done in Ju this one in July, just. Um, so from next Friday, we will be starting on the fourth set of videos for each of our eight project orchids. Although there's nine really. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Um, at the end of this set, set four I mean, the next set, that will be August, September. We will then do another set, October, November, to finish the year off. So that'll be, you know, heading towards winter, end of the growing season, we can sum up for the whole year. And at that point, I will be after ideas for next year. So you've got all this time to think about it. I don't want them yet. Um, about the sort of thing I can do that is still along the lines of the Project Orchids but needs to be totally different because we've got people that enjoy these Project Orchids but they are not high volume. Then There's a core set of people that really enjoy these and then the rest don't watch them. Yeah. So from my channel's point of view these videos are not what I would call successful. They're okay, they tick over, and I'm willing to finish the project off for this year. But next year needs to be either very different, or possibly not at all. <laughs> that different, like something entirely different that it's not even called Project Orchids. We've been running these Project Orchids for some years now. Um, anyway, uh, let's get on with today's video. Okay, so orchid number eight is in fact two orchids. The story behind that, if you're only just joining the Project Orchids, is that um, this was an orchid I bought at the um, Mathers Foundation, one of David Mathers' personal plants, rather than actually out of the foundation set of plants. And um, it was named Cymbidium Copper, and I brought it home. And later on it pushed up another spike, and that spike was a totally different colour. And I thought colour changing in cymbidiums is never that extreme, so I'm reasonably certain we've got two separate plants here. So I sent pictures off and um, came back with, yes, you've sorry, you've got two different plants. I said, don't apologise for me, it's a bonus, because I've got the plant I bought and now I've got an extra one as well. So, And I only paid for one, yay. <laughs> you have to have a bit of luck sometimes. Anyway, <clears throat> so when we came to repot them, that is one of the project videos for this, um, for orchid number eight. That will be in the playlist at the end of this video if you want to see it. But before we get going at looking as these are now, what we always do is at the beginning of the video, I always put an info card up which takes you back to the previous video if you wish to view that one before continuing. So that info card is coming up now. Okay, if you've been away, welcome back. So you've had a look at um, what these looked like two months ago. And um, now we'll have a look at what they look like now. So two months ago, this is the hybrid. Um, so this is unnamed, I've got no name for this, and I did try. Um, basically, it's a cream-coloured cymbidium. It has attractive flowers, and, you know, we'll, we'll go from there, basically. But um, the new growth on here has pushed on a lot, and we do have roots coming out from the base. I did have a look, I'm not scraping it all away now. So. Basically, that's two months worth of growth on, on this new growth here, and it's now forming its bulb, so it is maturing. Um, a two-bulb plant, I'm not sure whether, if that did decide to bloom, I'm not sure I would let it. I'd rather get the strength into the plant. 
and wait for another bulb so that it's a three bulb plant um, that would be fine to bloom two is pushing your luck a bit it will drain the strength of the plant so but that's undecided and it hasn't pushed a spike up yet anyway so <laughs> that's wishful thinking perhaps right so over here this is the one we actually bought which is cymbidium copper and when we looked at this last time we had a nice strong new growth pushing on well that's pushed on carried on pushing on and is doing very well but what we've got now is right in the back of the plant we've got two more new growths there's one tucked in there and one here a bit further advanced now that's coming out of um, what is probably the oldest bulb although it might not be um, these two bulbs could be the oldest bulbs but this one does look like quite an old one and it's pushing out two growths so on top of the one that's maturing and forming its bulb we now have two new ones uh, at a strange time of year I must say <laughs> it's not normal to get new growths pushing out you know this is a winter early spring bloomer the cymbidium copper um, you know so it's highly likely this one will form a spike you never know we might get two but I doubt it it'll probably just be one because of the disturbance of the repot you disturb the roots you know so uh, anyway that's how they're progressing um, new growth maturing on this one on the hybrid new growth maturing on this one and two new growths so it'll be interesting to see how well these two growths progress through the rest of the next two months and whether this one over the towards the end of the next two months decides to push a spike out so that's where we are with those two okay so that's the end of the third set of videos orchid number eight well we should say orchids shouldn't i because it'll always be two and um, next friday we will go back to orchid number one and that will be video number four and we'll start set number four. Thanks for dropping by. See you next time.